Hey resellers, it's Vlogmas! Day, Day five! five. <laughs> we are headed to Kentucky to test drive the pink Mercedes. Wearing some bell bottoms and a Johnny Cash shirt, and um, I feel like I'm either gonna love this car or hate it. I don't think that there's any middle ground with the pink Mercedes. So we're going on a little bit of a road trip today. You guys are gonna be so excited the way I'm excited. We're going to drive, to test drive, the pink Mercedes. I can't even believe we're going to test drive a pink Mercedes. Like, this isn't just my car. This has to be the family car. So this bearded guy would be driving around in a pink Mercedes. Can you do that? Yep. You think you can pull uh, it off? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody said, I think Lisa said it's the equivalent of a guy saying like real men wear pink. So you could get out and be like real men drive a pink Mercedes. It takes a real man to drive a pink Mercedes. It's still your car. Uh, <laughs> we're going to go take a look at it and then we get to see a Christmas parade also. One of the coolest things I think about being a reseller is while you're out and about either on vacation or enjoying time with your family and you're still making money, I just got an offer on something on eBay and it looks like a pretty decent offer so let's take a look at it and we can decide whether or not to take it. Okay, it looks like there's two new offers. Let's take a peek and see what those are. This is the offer I got last night. I have this listed about $179 and the, the potential buyer offered 75. So, I mean, the cardigan has holes in it. I'm gonna check some comps on this and respond to them. And then it looks like these shoes my husband actually picked up. Um, I have them priced at $84 and someone just offered 75. So I feel like I'll probably take that offer. You think that's a good offer on one pair of those Nikes, Drew? Yeah, I mean, I was hoping for like 120, but you know, 75 works. <laughs> Yeah, he was hoping that they would be like on the high, high end, but there are several of these listed. Um, so 75 bucks is more than double his money. Well, it's about double your money after yeah. after fees and everything, right? I kind of got flooded whenever Academy put them on sale. Yeah, he brings up a good point, you guys. So the shoes that he bought, he bought at Academy. They had went on clearance and they were $120, he said on eBay at the time. But the thing is, when you do retail arbitrage, if one area has that clearance, chances are nationwide probably has that same clearance. So a lot of these shoes were kind of bought up by resellers obviously flooded the market drove the price down i could hang on to these for a while but they're new in box nikes those new in box take up a lot of space and then he was kind of on me about listing them getting them listed so i decided not to hang on to them and wait for the market to come back up so you know again it's double your money on an item that wasn't hard to photograph and you know doesn't have any defects or anything so i think like i say we'll go ahead and take a 75 dollar offer maybe someone to get some really cool shoes for christmas Okay, we are at the Pilot Travel Center that we are waiting on the lady with the pink Mercedes to show up so I can test drive it. Um, I will oddly get some footage for you guys, even though it's going to make me look like a creep and a weirdo. So, you are I'm not a creep. creep. Y'all better give a thumbs up to this test drive footage because this is going to this is going to look really weird. So I did test drive the pink Mercedes and I'm including some footage here of the vehicle actually in person because I only had a few photos that I shared with you guys that um, were in, in the online listing that drug me over to Kentucky to see this car. In the end, it ended up just not being the car for me. I was a little bummed out because I would really like to find a car right now. It's just been very, very difficult for my family to find something that replaces the vehicle um, that we lost, but I am still on the hunt, so I'm obviously willing to travel. We drove over to Kentucky to look at this one. It just wasn't right for me. And I wanted to show you guys some of the things that sold while I was just hanging out with my family today. This St. Louis Rams um, vintage beanie sold for $15 plus $5 shipping. Nothing super special about it. I got it in a vintage haul where I paid a dollar per item. Um, these shoes are of course waiting for payment. Thank you eBay, but they sold for $75. These are the ones that I accepted the offer on this morning. My husband picked these up brand new. $75 plus $10 shipping. So I know I'm competing with a lot of shoe resellers that offer free shipping on brand new shoes. So I was okay taking the $75 offer on this. Um, but these are some really spiffy looking shoes that he picked up. I guess I could have done a background remover on there, but the background's pretty bright white on these. Um, anyway, good sale there. I sold these seven jeans um, and misspelled the word jeans, which is cool. Uh, size 10 jeggings, stretch black skinny ankle, and they sold for $15.80 plus $5 shipping. So um, that was something that I had picked up from me, but I didn't like the way that they fit once I got them home. So major score and win on those selling while I was hanging out with the family. 
I sold this beautiful little vintage um, outfit. This is a little girl's outfit for $12 plus $5 shipping. I'm waiting on payment from the buyer once again. Um, it will arrive by Christmas if they pay for it soon. So hopefully they would pay for this uh, pretty soon. But how darling is this? It has like the little diaper cover. Um, pinafore is a keyword to use when it's like an apron style dress like this that's open on the sides. So I just think that this is gorgeous and I paid a dollar for it. After we looked at that vehicle, we headed downtown to the Christmas parade, which is really the biggest reason why we drove over to Kentucky. Our town no longer has a Christmas parade and they pulled out all the stops. This parade was almost two hours long. There's a restaurant that I wanted to eat at afterwards and the parade's going on so long, I thought maybe we wouldn't make it, um, but it was worth it just to sit there, see the magic on, like especially my youngest son's um, face. Are you so excited? Yes. <laughs> Are you going to see Santa? Yeah, yeah. yeah I think Santa's yeah. going to be here. It's real. It's Santa. I know him. And we're just really searching for Christmassy things to do this year. This warm weather has it feeling less like Christmas around here. And, you know, you just get so busy. You just get such a hustle and bustle of everything going on day to day. And especially when you're self-employed, you're running your own business. You feel like you can't take a day off. Well, today was that time for me to just take a day off and hang out with the family. I sold things anyway, but we absolutely enjoyed ourselves. We made it to the vegan restaurant in time. And I have to show you guys some clips from that real quick also. restaurant and we're super super excited are you excited Delo got a, a cheeseburger and french fries Israel got macaroni and cheese and french fries Drew what'd you get uh, fish tacos and buffalo ranch fish tacos I should have got that chicken buffalo, buffalo ranch fries or something like that and I got a um, mushroom poor boy and um, nachos so this vegan food was absolutely incredible. We loved every morsel of it. We took um, the orange cranberry donuts home and um, we're gonna have those for breakfast in the morning. So I'm actually gonna wrap it up. I thought about including some more eBay stuff, but I'm not gonna include it just for the sake of including it in this vlog. The truth is I didn't do a whole lot of eBay stuff today and that has to be okay. At the end of the day, you have to realize and remember why you're self-employed and you know, if I can't take a Saturday off and go just hang out with the family and not touch eBay, then, you know, I, in some regard, you'd be better off to work for someone else because at least you'd have a weekend with your family. So tomorrow I will be doubling down and getting some extra eBay things in. But today was all about these beautiful guys that I get to do life with. All right. <laughs>